You've probably heard of LinkedIn, but have you heard of Alignable? And there is a truth about this platform. Now, Alignable is kind of like LinkedIn's younger, less adolescent brother and less mature, but still could be super valuable to your MSP. And if you haven't seen it already, this is what it looks like. A-L-I-G-N-A-B-L-E, Alignable.com. Now, thankfully, I have had a lot of experience with this platform in the past. Throughout this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe are some of the big pros for MSPs, but also the big cons for MSPs, because there are some negative sides of this. But if you're a smaller MSP and you're looking to get in front of some new customers, this could be a huge gold mine for you. How are you doing? My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether it's sales training, marketing training, or even some business operations. Before I get into today's video, I do want to mention just real quickly, if you head over to growth-generators.com, we have a bunch of resources under our resources page, and we are working on a couple more out there, so you want to check back fairly frequently to see if you missed something, but in here, you'll see all of the free resources, as well as we've gotten a ton of DMs, requests, contact us forms asking about events. We are working on more events. We are working on countrywide events. We are working on local events. If you want to get notified about an event, all you have to do is go to growth-generators.com forward slash events, and you can see you want to get notified. You click on that. You'll sign up, and that way you don't miss out on one of the events that we are going to be hosting throughout the remainder of this year. I'm super, super excited. I haven't announced any of them yet other than my local meetups here in Charlotte, but I do want to let you know we do have some pretty cool plans coming up, and that's really it. Let's get into today's video. What is Alignable? And I'm going to talk a little bit about it. And I've already kind of mentioned it's it's kind of like LinkedIn's younger brother. And it's cool. I mean, I think it's kind of what they tried to compete with LinkedIn on. But it's not quite where it needs to be. But there are some really cool benefits to the platform, right? If you go into alignable.com, you can make an account. It's totally free here, and you can discover millions of businesses out there. And there's a couple things that I really, really like about Alignable. And there's some things I don't like about Alignable. And you can go through that. It's not all that exciting. But once you get into Alignable, you could see this here. Now, truth be told, I do have to update my profile. It has been some time since I've used it, and I have used it in my former life as well in the MSP world. And I I will give you my feedback throughout this video. But the core thing is, and the bigger differentiator between Alignable and LinkedIn is LinkedIn focuses on kind of a global network of professionals. Where Alignable feels to be much more small town, hometown vibes. It focuses a lot more on small business. And most importantly, and this could be a huge green flag for some of the MSPs watching, it could be really, really great for local connections. I can tell you that I have gotten leads from Alignable locally, and that is a huge, huge win. Now, I'm not saying those leads are gonna be plentiful. It's definitely kind of a smaller platform out there, but I do wanna talk a little bit about it, what you can expect out of it. And if you do wanna check out an entire Alignable training, I will be doing one inside the MSP Heroes membership. I highly encourage you to attend if you want to grow your MSP. But as I go through this, because I do have a ton of experience, this is kind of the vibe, right? You sign in, you have your network, events, groups, messages, notifications, right? And then they have the premium. They're trying to push their own premium as well. And in here you could see, right, based on my old profile, four views, two clicks, all of that kind of stuff. Now I am going to be going through and modifying and adjusting this, but some of the kind of red flags that I see off of the bat, right? We have this not great image of Brian Farks. Now, I don't know who Brian Farks is. I don't particularly care. But if you scroll down, you see this. This person or this company decided that this is the image that they wanted to promote and push, right? That's kind of one of the more like, hey, it's not as serious as other businesses. I have seen some pretty decent ads on here as well, but I am a part of a couple groups and your feed is quite different. Your feed is more based on the groups that you're a part of, which is kind of the opposite of LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very much a one-to-one, -one, right? Connection, where Alignable is more of a click to click. If you join a group or you join a different group, 
your feed is then compiled of those. Because I do have connections with people I've done business with and people I hope to do business with at one point on Alignable. But what you don't see is them either using it or they're trying to push their kind of community, which is nice. It has a much more small town, small area feel, and it does work pretty well, especially if you are an MSP, not in an urban environment, not in or a small town, and you're looking to grow. I was shocked to find how many people were on Alignable. Truthfully, I had an incredible experience from this platform. I was actually invited to a networking group from it. Not only was I invited to that networking group, I showed up. Everybody else at the table also had been on Alignable and got invited through Alignable, which was pretty interesting. And it was a halfway decent group. Was it the best group I've ever attended? No. The best groups I've ever attended were outrageously expensive, truthfully, but also there was one person kind of curating that group where this was, while there was a person, they were relying solely on Alignable to bring people together. So it was a bit different and they weren't using LinkedIn as well. But if you go through here, you can see, right, there's just post after post after post as you would normally expect, right? And in here, this SEO for small businesses, I was heavily, heavily involved in, in SEO for quite some time. You also have events, and I do love this. While LinkedIn does offer events, I must say, I think Alignable does a really, really good job with events by letting you know where they're going to be located, how you can attend, all of that, and the people that are actually attending. The events are typically smaller, but they do a great job. They don't hide it. They make events very clear to be a part of. You have your groups that you can actually see and you can discover more groups, right? Discover groups here and you can discover more and more and more groups. You'll be able to go through this whole thing and see what groups that you might want to actually join, whether it's other MSP groups, whether it is women's health in this case, chambers of commerce, leadership growth, right? All of that good stuff is in here and they actually show you. The big thing with LinkedIn is even if you join the groups, you, the likelihood of you seeing that on your feed is almost zero. I was actually shocked and I was hoping LinkedIn was going to fix this when it got acquired by Microsoft a handful of years ago. Unfortunately, they haven't cared at all about groups. You can go into groups with hundreds of thousands of people and somebody will post zero likes, zero comments, almost guaranteed. Or maybe you get one like on there. It's incredible where these groups, I will say, are significantly, significantly more active. You also have your connections here where you can see your connections. You can see matches. You could view those people. You could discover connections in here based on who you are, where you're at, and it'll tell you how they found you or why it thinks that you're a, you're a good connection for that person. And some of these people, truthfully, and I've been on here for a long time, I've never met in person, which is cool because... It's a great way to prospect new members, industry peers, local businesses. And as I go through this and update this, I'm going to give this a college try because I do know that people have had good success on there. And then your messages and notifications as you would hope to see them on here. But one of the pros that I want to bring up or some of the pros that I want to bring up about using Alignable before I go squash it with my cons. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not here to de demolish anyone's software. But before I go into my pros, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. So let's talk about some pros of using Alignable and who it's really, really good for. Local businesses with networking opportunities. I've spoken a lot about going to Meetup, to BNI, Latip, your local chamber of commerce. Truth be told, I forgot about Alignable. And the events that they used to host back in the day were dismal at best. I spent a lot of time going through the events prepping for this video, and I'm in shock how good the events truly are. And I've been, they've come a long way. Back when I used to use it about five years ago, even four to three years ago, it was okay at best. But they also have a really unique approach where it's a referral based approach. Just as you saw, it's going to tell you who to connect with, how to connect with them, and how to leverage other people's connections. It's also a little bit easier to stand out on here because it's less crowded than LinkedIn, but there's a different audience of people using that. And it's kind of a great place to build relationships. You might want to take your relationship offline and grab coffee and meet somebody over for business, but the people actually answer. It's quite interesting. It's a cool little concept. I will say people use Alignable less frequently than LinkedIn. Truthfully, on average, 
LinkedIn has a bunch of stats of how many people use it on a weekly, monthly, and annual basis. People use Alignable less or less people use Alignable. But what I do have a feeling is the people that actually use Alignable use it a lot more than they would use a LinkedIn, which is quite interesting and not what I truly expected. Now, I do want to talk about some cons because there are some cons to this platform, and I don't want to sugarcoat that. There are, There's always going to be cons, and hey, that's part of my job as an influencer is to go bash different things. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding again, but there are some negatives that I have to let you know about, and I've already spoken about a couple of them. One, and probably the hardest one is it's a limited audience. It is mostly small businesses. And in my experience, very small businesses. I'm not saying you can't find bigger businesses out there, but the vast majority of businesses that I've met from Alignable are typically 10 employees and less. If you're a brand new MSP and you're like, hey, I'll take all new business or all business, then it could be a complete goldmine for you, right? That is fantastic. The other side of it is people know it's kind of untapped. And they don't have any blockers like LinkedIn does, where you can only send a certain amount of connection requests or connection requests with notes. So there's a higher number of kind of salesy messages and spam that you have got you could get on here. Truthfully, I haven't used it all that much to see it, but I've heard horror stories. I think they've cracked down a good bit on it. And they do restrict a lot for paying. That's probably my biggest gripe. They push their premium extremely, extremely hard. And how much the premium is at the time of recording this video, I'm actually not too sure. $29 a month, $49 a month, and $89 a month. And what I don't love is to see who viewed your profile, you have to spend a minimum of $50 every single month. That seems kind of steep. Personally, I feel like, I don't know, I guess LinkedIn's like 80 bucks a month, but this is a smaller platform, kind of subjective in my opinion. And then it's just less engagement. In different ways. LinkedIn, if I post something or if you're Dean Trimpalis, who I love dearly, and I hope, Dean, you watch this. And if you don't, I'm probably going to yell at you because I'm calling you out in this video. But I have a dear friend, Dean. Dean is crushing it on LinkedIn. He gets a ton of engagement, likes, and comments. On Alignable, if you're not actively using it, once again, keyword, actively using it, there's just less engagement. There's less people on there. You have to really, really work to build those connections. And while that's a good thing, it could also be a pain in the butt that you might not actually want to deal with. But my experience so far with Alignable has been, I don't want to say stale, but maybe unexciting. It's cool. I got to play with it. I learned all about it. I spent literally weeks prepping and building my prof profile years ago, and it's been a while since I've tweaked it. I'm diving back into Alignable content again to see if it's really worth giving it the college try, and I'm going to revamp my entire profile. I know all the tips and all the tricks, and I've learned how their algorithms already work. Like I said, there's going to be a training in MSP Heroes, but it's cool. I mean, it's a cool platform. If I didn't get invited to that networking group, I'd probably have a pretty negative kind of view on the entire thing, but if you don't want to go to a BNI, you don't want to go to a LATIP, your Chamber of Commerce isn't that great, why not start your own meeting and finding local small businesses on Alignable could be huge for you. I think there's a lot of value there, and especially if you're in a small town, that could be gold for you. And I don't want to take that away from anybody. So give it a college try. Check it out. If you want, find me and connect with me, and I'd love to connect with you back because I think that's pretty cool. But I do love that they put a huge emphasis on groups. You can make a group about your local area. You can make groups about anything. I really do enjoy that. I like how they've kind of built it so you can connect with people locally. And it's really the people on it are probably the best because they're actually on it. They're actually using it. They're actually messaging you. And they're willing to get out of their comfort zone and go to a meeting, talk to you and all of that, which in my opinion, trumps just about everything else. So I hope you found this video interesting. It's a pretty cool program. It kind of came to me earlier today. I was like, I got to make a video on Alignable. I spent quite a bit of time getting this video ready. I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to cover on it. So in the comments below, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know because I don't know. I, this is this is even almost a touch out of my comfort zone because it's not something I've used every single day for the last couple of years, but it is a program I've spent a lot of time on over the last couple of years. So appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys as always.